Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to go over the power head for the handpiece. I do, a, you know, I've showed a lot of videos on how to make the handpiece, and I've got videos on how to build one of these. And that started about three years ago, so I'd like to go over what I've found out about these, just really in the last few days. But over time, uh, what you have to do to keep these working right. And uh, what I've found out here is that I just recently I had a guy that I'd made one of these for. I've only made four of these. I've got one and I made uh, three others uh, for friends and uh, as favors. So uh, I'd kind of like to get into what I found here recently. He contacted me with a... Uh, he, he told me that the power the power supply probably went out. It wasn't turning on. So I sent him a power supply. And the one that I sent him would only put out 11 volts. So I just had him send the thing back to me. And uh, you know, there's a, an adjustment on these right here. And with it cranked all the way up, I was only getting a little over 11 volts. And I haven't checked the one that failed on him. I'm just assuming it went out. So after getting a hold of it and tinkering with it, I got it running and it was hardly driving the uh, the handpiece at all. So I pulled the head off of it and it was full. I mean, I've already cleaned this one, but it was just full of black dust like you'll see in there so what's happened here is as you can see around the edges I hope you can see around the edges here it's wore out and it was blowing this dust and stuff past the, uh, the it wasn't sealing on the cylinder very well anymore so this black dust was being created and uh, I kind of cleaned it up and put it back together and it still it still didn't work real good it just had lost so much power so I got to looking at mine and I figured I have around 10 hours on it in the last three years. So I don't use it very much. I'm not an engraver, I'll tell you that right now. I don't do a lot of engraving. I only wanted this to to scratch my logo into some of my cannons. So I pulled the head off of uh, I pulled the head off of mine and it was dirty. And I cleaned it and oiled it. And it like I said, it had about 10 hours on it. So I asked uh, I asked James how many hours he thought he had on this thing, and his approximate was like 50 hours. And I was going, well, that's really disconcerting. I, I was hoping he'd get more hours. So I'm going to make this video to let everybody that's knowing that's building these to uh, take them apart. You know, like, say, if you just got the thing built, like, after five hours, at least take a look at it. And then maybe again after ten hours. And, and come up with a maintenance schedule for yourself to uh, clean and re-oil these things. So, what I do on the oil is I just use a light. I, I had some gun oil, but I could use... Uh, I use sewing machine oil or something because I don't know what the vendor, what type of oil the vendor uses. But to keep it clean and lubricated, you're probably going to get more life out of it. And what I do when I oil this thing, let me see if I can zoom in on it so you can see how much oil that I'm going to put in this thing. And all I do is I want to fill up this rim and that's about all the oil it needs I'd, 
and that should last I'm guessing I don't know because I've just run across this stuff but it's good to know that this maintenance needs to be done on this thing in order to give it more hours now the way I use mine like I said I've had this thing uh, three years now is when I built it and uh, and it's still going strong and I just cleaned it yesterday so I should get quite a few more hours out of it but I do have other pumps that, oh, let me show you one here I do have other pumps as standbys and see how, you can see how the inside of that one is nice and clean it's a brand new Pittsburgh 12 volt compressor it hasn't been modified or anything yet this one will still pump up the tire but you see it's nice and clean in there where this one's got the dust from the wore out uh, the wore out seal around the piston so you're gonna need to gonna need to clean and oil these things and I'd say at least a 10 hour interval if not sooner just to keep the thing performing right because it seems like the one that I pulled out of Jim's uh, or James's machine uh, was just wore out from running he said 50 hours so that's a guesstimate it could have been more could have been less but without the maintenance this is what's going to happen in let's say 50 hours so if you want to extend the life of that you're going to have to do you're going to have to pull the head off you're going to have to pull the head off of this thing every so many hours clean and lube it now if you use it like me I don't use it that much three years maybe ten hours so when this one you know I'll keep it maintained but when it craps out I'll just put another I'll just modify another one of these small compressors and go in with it I also wanted to talk I had another guy that had uh, was having trouble with his tattoo he went through three tattoo pedals I believe he said and he it, the thing would run fine when he would jumper it at the mono jack but when he would plug when he would plug the, the the foot pedal in it wouldn't run and I tried to help him a little bit it, it, it confused me and then shortly after that I ran into the the problems that uh, James was having with his and uh, let's see he emailed me the other day and said that all he had to do was crank up the power supply a little bit so this was creating enough resistance to keep the the motor from running so that was the fix and I've noticed that every one of these is different all these cheap parts are exactly what you pay for now you can get one of these up and running and it may last you it may crap out but you are getting what you paid for I also swapped this out because I didn't like the voltage I was getting out of it so I put a new one in but this stuff is cheap this is like six dollars and fifty cents shipped these I think when I first started buying them look like this a little different tags and stickers I don't know if they're made by the same vendors or not and uh, uh, they're you know some hold up good some might not so I mean this stuff is cheap you get what you pay for and you can put a machine together pretty cheap and get a taste of a power engraving where otherwise it's going to break the bank if you want to buy something off the shelf that's uh, commercial so this is just to help the guys get a get a start in engraving and these will hold up but i have found out after three years that these pumps are going to require a maintenance interval in order to keep in order to keep them going so 
if your hand piece is losing power, I'd take a, I'd take a look at the uh, I'd take a look at the seal on the piston in the modified compressor. And uh, like I said, if you if you hook up a foot pedal or if you turn on your machine and it doesn't run, uh, get a meter on this thing. I believe this one was checking. It only turned up all the way max would only go up a little over 11 volts and that's just not enough and uh, the last uh, power supply that I, I would put in here when I plugged it in and checked it just right off the bat it was at 13 volts so I was able to adjust it to where as you just barely start moving as you just barely start moving the uh, rheostat on this then, it, then the pump would turn on and start moving so you can adjust it to right where you want it and you can also hear the fan in here increase and decrease as you adjust that as you adjust the voltage adjustment on the power supply so just wanted you guys to know that these things are going to require a maintenance interval to clean and oil uh, to get a little more life out of them otherwise I don't know how many hours you're gonna get out of it if you run it dry like I said he says he thinks he got about 50 hours out of this one I'm gonna play with it and see if I can come up with a uh, replacement seal for these things that yeah, it's not going to be that easy, but it's something guys could tinker with. If I can get one to work, I'll let you know. If not, just be aware that you do have to clean and oil these from time to time if you want them to hang in there. Otherwise, it looks like after, I mean, on this one, it's 50 hours. Yours might get more, might get less. I would say it's going to get a whole lot more if you clean it. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys out that are building these and have been using them for a while. I'd really like to get some feedback on problems you've had with these, and I'll add them to other videos, and I learned something. You know, it was helpful for me to see this one because it got me to look at mine, which needed to be cleaned and oiled. So i probably given it a few more hours of life by doing it. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If you got any questions, uh, leave them on the videos or email me and uh, have a nice day.